Welcome back to BYU Sports Nation in Studio B. Jerem Jordan alongside Dave McCann. Big news coming out this week. Kenneth Rooks going pro. Going to forego the eligibility and just get started, man. Nike signs him. Uh, he's getting married next month. A lot of things happening for Kenneth Rooks, who now joins us in Studio B. Kenneth, welcome back uh, to the show, man. Thank you. Glad to be back. Congrats on uh, going pro. What went into this decision? Yeah. Uh, well, what, what went into this yeah. decision? Uh, it was a big decision for me. I think that um, going pro has been something I've considered, but it really became a reality this last summer with the success that I had that I could run professionally uh, and I could be very successful at it. And uh, in the summer, it didn't really feel like the right time for me. Uh, I still didn't quite feel like I had accomplished everything I'd wanted to in college yet. It's part of the reason why I stayed and came back for cross country this season. Um, but yeah, coming back for cross country and uh, competing with the team uh, at nationals, getting third overall as a team and being an All-American, I, I feel like I've, I've done everything uh, that, I've done enough that I could be satisfied with what I've done in college. And that's what helped me uh, make the decision of, of going pro now versus maybe another time. So when, so when Nike calls, I yeah. want to do a deal. Mm -hmm. And uh, the difference between that shirt today and maybe yesterday or last yeah. week is you're getting paid to wear that shirt today. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what was it like uh, for Nike and you to, to come to terms with, with a sponsorship? Uh, it was very, uh, very cool. Uh, I'm very grateful that I get to represent Nike. Uh, Nike is a brand that I've used uh, almost all of my life. Uh, my mom actually was working for Nike when she was pregnant with me. Mm. And so it's, so it's full circle. Yeah, it's kind of full <laughs> circle a little bit, uh, especially for her. Um, so it, it's, I'm very blessed to be able to represent such a great brand. Uh, they've treated me well. Uh, it's been fun uh, to, you know, receive the, the gear they've been sending me and, uh, and uh, just working and meeting the team. Uh, it's, been, it's been really awesome. It's we joked this week that Tiger Woods, yeah, it, Dave said, hey, you know, they let go of Tiger, they signed Kenneth Rooks. Same week. <laughs> Are you the new Tiger Woods of Nike? I, I don't know if I'm the new Tiger Woods of Nike. I don't think I'm on no that. Pressure. I don't think I'm on that level yet, but yeah. Hey, you're in the same week, so you got that <laughs> yeah. going for you. That's yeah. cool. Uh, Olympics is, is, is high on your thing. You and Jimmer might actually appear in the same Olympics. I don't know if you ever thought that day would, would happen. You could walk in the opening ceremonies together, right? Yeah, that, that, that would be pretty happen. cool. That, that could, could happen. happen. That is a reality. That could happen, yeah. What's the path to uh, Paris for you? The path to Paris for me? Uh, well, I, I probably will race maybe a few times in indoor season just to, just to get some races in, and then I'll start building up like my outdoor season in April uh, and uh, stay healthy. That's probably the biggest thing is just stay healthy uh, because as long as I stay healthy, I can, I can put myself in uh, good, good positions to perform well and compete well and be ready for the U.S. championships and, or the Olympic trials. Yeah, this summer's going to be uh, fun but busy for you. Yet, you are still taking class at BYU this semester. Yes, I am. Yeah. So what's life like right now is you're still a BYU student, but you're going pro. Yeah, well, life is is different. It's new. It feels like I'm beginning a new chapter. It feels a little bit different being around uh, some of the guys on the BYU team because I am still, I still have a locker here. I still get to run with them sometimes. I run with the pro guys sometimes too. Um, but I'm used to doing school and running at the same time. So I anticipate it won't be that much different. It'll be a little bit different conversation with my professors. Sure. Uh, that I'm a pro professional athlete rather than a BYU athlete. You could a little but, more respect. A little more leniency here. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, it's, it feels like the same but also new and, and, and exciting. And I'm looking forward to uh, all the new experiences I'm going to have. And I don't know what to expect with a lot of things. And so... Well, you're living the dream, especially mm -hmm. as you practice with your teammates yeah. uh, and those coming into the program. Everyone wants this and this opportunity. What impact has it had on, on the, the guys running with you and that are going to come from behind? Yeah, I, I think that to maybe describe the impact uh, that I'm, maybe I might have, I could, I could talk about maybe the impact of some of the other professional athletes of BYU have had on me. Yeah. Uh, it's been awesome to have Jared and Clayton 
and Connor and other BYU alumni out there um, who maybe aren't, aren't training here, but those three, they, they train here. So we get to see them on occasion and sometimes they'll come join us with, for a workout. Um, or it's just exciting to just, it's inspiring to see the success that they've had and the, the careers they had at BYU and then continuing with that and continuing to have success. And so I'm, I think that um, it's, it's important uh, to have them as, as, as a part of inspiring the team at BYU to uh, st stretch their, their goals and uh, kind of shoot for the stars, shoot a little, maybe a little higher than they might otherwise. Uh, and I'm excited to maybe be a little bit part of that to inspire them and, and uh, help lift them. Well, plus your coach has done a couple of things. Yeah, he's done a couple of things too. I mean, Are you surrounded by amazing. folks who have been there and done that? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The resumes are pretty good for yeah. the homies <laughs> around, <laughs> around cross good. country, yeah, which is yeah. pretty fun. Which, by the way, the Lear Cup, uh, directors, Learfield Directors' Cup standings came out. BYU sixth, thanks to cross country yeah. men and women and uh, soccer and volleyball, which is pretty cool. Well, so what do the next uh, couple of months look like for you as you get ready for uh, April and June and, and July and August in the uh, Olympics and whatnot? Is, you have class. You're getting married yep, next month, you I'm mentioned. Getting married next and month. And you're now a pro athlete? Yep. So no, life's pretty busy right now. Yeah, life is pretty busy. It feels like everything's happening at once right now, uh, but just rolling with it. Um, yeah, me and my fiance are we're working together, supporting each other, which is awesome. Um, and yeah, so. If, yeah, it's it's a lot happening, but um, <laughs> that I, look yeah. tells a lot, yeah. Kenneth. Hey, in-laws, <laughs> in-laws love when their potential son-in-laws have jobs. Yeah, that's just that's a true. That's that just is a nice thing on the that list. Nice. Yeah, that's like you nice. you're doing something and mm -hmm. you're doing something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I mean, the next few months, I mean, I'm I'm going to be learning a lot. I uh, I am going to be doing some some races that I some new races that I haven't done in the past. Um, but yeah, just. Uh, I still have to work with my coach to figure out my race schedule. I haven't, I haven't solidified that completely, uh, but um, yeah, there's, yeah, that's kind of what, what I'm looking at in the next few months. Hey, your comeback story stood alone right up to that soccer team, rally Incredible, North right? Carolina. Uh, but it's still, uh, it, it's still one for the ages. How many times have you been t asked about falling down, getting up, and winning the championship? Yeah, I, I'm asked about it a lot. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm asked about it pretty much every single interview I do. So uh, it's, it's, it, I'll probably be asked about it the rest of my life. Uh, it's humbling to reflect on my experience there and what I was able to do, the things that I learned, and then the impact that it had on so many other people. Um, and isn't it so cool that that story, because you'd be asked about it anyway, you fell at the championships, that the rest of it is you got back up and won? Yeah. Because a lot of stories would just end right there. I was in the championship, I fell and down, I fell down, and I, that yeah, was it for me. I didn't win. Yeah. No, you but you got, a, you got a happy rest of the story. Yeah, I do have a happy rest of the story. So I'm, I'm excited that uh, I get to tell it the rest of my life. Yeah. Well, congrats on all the uh, success. We're excited for you, man. Thank and, you. And uh, we'll be watching and rooting for you, and thanks for coming in. Thank you. Okay, and look, if you're with Jimmer, that's got to be a cell phone. Need a BYU. Yeah. There may be other BYU athletes there, right? Yeah, yeah I think, very I well think could happen. Could be, yeah. yeah, let's, let's go, get man. there. Yeah, we'll fun. have to get together and take pictures. So. Thank you, Kevin.